can have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division occur inside a square root. If you have the square root of x times y, it can be rewritten as the square root of x times the square root of y. If you have the square root of x over y, this can be rewritten as the square root of x over the square root of y. However, if you have the square root of x plus y, or the square root of x minus y, you cannot separate the x's and y's and put them under separate square roots, like the square root of x plus the square root of y, or the square root of x minus the square root of y. We can test this by having the square root of 4 plus 9 and the square root of 25 minus 16. 4 plus 9 is 13 and the square root of 13 is approximately 3.606. If we separate the 4 and 9 to get the square root of 4 plus the square root of 9, we will have 2 plus 3, which is 5. Not the same thing as 3.606. 25 minus 16 is 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. If we separate the 25 and 16 too, to get the square root of 25 minus the square root of 16, we'll have 5 minus 4, which is 1. Not the same thing as 3. Therefore, we cannot rewrite the square root of x squared plus y squared as the square root of x squared plus the square root of y squared. The square root of x squared plus y squared is as far as we can go. 